I am Rebecca. In this video, I will show you how to back up all your iPhone photos and videos to the SmugMug cloud storage. Now, SmugMug, if you already use SmugMug, you might be following my channel because I have how to use videos with SmugMug. But if you do already have a SmugMug account and have not downloaded the mobile phone app, then you should do because it's free and you can back up all your iPhone photos and videos. And they do do other makes of phones, but I just happen to have an iPhone. So I've got downloaded the iPhone app and done it the iPhone way. But there is other, other apps for different makes, but it is so good and it only takes about two minutes to set up. And then all your phone photos and your videos can be accessed through your SmugMug photo storage. If you don't know what SmugMug is, it's a photographer's photo sharing platform. And if you've been following my channel, you know I've got a couple of accounts, one for my dog breeder website or my dog's website, and one for photography, because it can just be used as a website. But the mobile phone app is so easy. If you're not using it, use it. Right, I do have a discount off SmugMug off any new accounts and you can try SmugMug free for 14 days. So if you're not with SmugMug, you can follow along and see if this is what you're looking for because you would only need, if you're wanting to store your phone photos or looking for somewhere to store them, the basic account is all you would need if that's all you're wanting to do. But there's so much more you can do do with SmugMug. Right, so if we take a look at my dog's website, which is my SmugMug account, and I go to the organize area, you will see down the side, this is where all my, or everything to do with my dog's website and any of my dog's photos are stored in this organize area. And down the side, you will notice, well, when I connect up my phone to the app, it will bring in the, automatic iOS uploads into this storage and that is how you access your phone photos through your SmugMug account. So if you get your iPhone and go to the app store, you want the SmugMug app. Download the app, install the app, which is free. Then you want your SmugMug login details, which is the email address you use for SmugMug and the password you've created when you set up your account. And that's you logged into your SmugMug storage where all your photos are. So as well as backing up your phone, you can also access on your phone every single photo gallery or SmugMug gallery you have on your phone too, which is absolutely brilliant if you're out and about and you need your photo, you know, you need one of your photos or you need to share one of your SmugMug galleries. So let's have a look at the app. So once you have downloaded the app, and it'll say set up, what you'll find is by default, SmugMug have set everything up pretty much for you anyway. Um, and you can go in and tweak the settings if you want. So if you click the profile photo on the top left corner, that brings up the settings. So you've got your account, an auto upload. So if you click auto upload, auto upload photos and videos. So that's going to automatically upload your photos and videos for you. Include videos. So if you don't want your videos, you can click that off. Include raw photos. Now, I know what this is. Because I've got my other account, I do actually have all my phone photos backed up in my other account, but I want them in my dog's account too for a different reason, just because, well, I'll tell you why, it is so easy, once my mobile phone photos are within my dog's account, I can just, I've got the photos there then, just to put straight on to the website for the news pages. I've not got to upload them from the other account and mess about. That's why I have set up the app again on my dog's website. Now, include raw photos, my dog's website has SmugMug source, which is raw file storage, which is raw files, PSDs, which you can store with SmugMug too. And because my dog's website has a SmugMug source on, 
I now, within my app, have include raw photos because apparently some mobile phones nowadays are that advanced. They also take raw files as well as your JPEGs or whatever else they take. Now I don't want to include raw photos, so I've switched that off. Use cellular, da cellular data, I don't want that. I, and I only, only upload when device is charging. So that is switched on. Now if we just go back, I think it's offline photos and videos. Yeah, sync over Wi-Fi only. So basically, my photos and videos will upload to my phone when it's plugged in and sat at the sat within or on the Wi-Fi because I don't want it using my data when it's uploading. Now once this app has finished uploading all my photos from that's well, 2014 up to the present day, then it will just be a simple case of it will just tick along each day every time I plug my phone in to charge it up and it's sat near the Wi-Fi. My, well, I don't have to be sat near the Wi-Fi like some devices I've known before, but it just has to be on Wi-Fi. That will just upload then each day all my photos. I won't even need to think about this. But at the moment, every time I charge it in, charge it up, it's just going to get, because there's about 4,000 photos on my phone and videos and bits and bobs, so that will go into there. And you've got your website, which you can share your website, and about Smog Morg. So it's dead simple. And also, you can access all your photos which are stored within your Smog Morg photo storage on your mobile phone. There's everything there which is absolutely brilliant. So if you're just bored and you want to sit and look at your photos or you actually want to grab a photo and do a social media post, your photos are there. You've got your galleries, your photos. Photos are your phone photos, I think. And your galleries are your galleries which you have uploaded to the unlimited photo storage within Smugmog. And then you can just pre press plus as well and upload yeah, add a photo, a gallery, and a folder. Dead simple, just like Smug Mug. But once that's set up, all your phone photos are safe within this storage. And the phone and videos are all stored privately. And you can change the settings to those galleries, but that's just Smug Mug being Smug Mug, securely storing your photos for you. I don't want no one seeing my phone photos. I've got all sorts in my phone. So that's probably why not just because of me, but people want the photos on the phone private, don't they? So yeah, they come in private. And if you look at some of my other videos, I'll be showing you how to just move those videos if you want them into public galleries or just dead easy to change the settings within, within a gallery, it really is. Just click the settings button. It's really simple. And I do have a video how to upload your photos to a Smog Mug Gallery 2, which I'll put the link in the description below to that. So, that's a Smog Mug mobile phone app. And I do have other videos on how to use Smog Mug. I'll put the link to that in the description below too, along with the discount off any new Smog Mug account. Okay, thanks for watching.